We are day five in Bulgaria where Voice uh, has partnered with Hornet Ministries to launch the Innocent Saved Worldwide mission and that mission is to save our children from child sexual abuse, from exploitation, from trafficking. Um, it is a human rights crisis of epidemic proportion. And last night we went uh, along the Black Sea and uh, Betty shared with us um, what you have seen for the years and years and years that you've been mm -hmm. here, um, what that means, that tourist area, what mm -hmm. that means to this community, and in contrast, um, what the conditions are just a mile away. Exactly. Uh, Angie, we have been involved in camp all week where we saw the beautiful children laughing and smiling and enjoying our hugs because this is their only time in the whole year that they are able to get out of their villages and see the sunshine, you might say, see green grass even. Mm -hmm. uh, they really, really look forward to camp. And so we've been involved in camp heavily this week. And then yesterday I told you, I said, I want to take you just a mile away from the camp to where the resort area is. And in Bulgaria, they have five million people pass through here in the summer from uh, the whole uh, border of the Black Sea here. And the tourist is high because Bulgaria is, is very inexpensive. Now, of all Europe, uh, Bulgaria is the lowest price for vacation that you can have. Along with those tourists that come, there comes those that have a great desire to be in this evil, evil thinking of taking a child mm -hmm. and um, exploiting them in whatever way. And they can talk to a taxi driver, they can talk to a person in a hotel or whatever, because just right there at our camp, just within the, the distance there of seeing, uh, is one of the poorest, poorest areas that there is in the area. And, and because of that poverty level there, the people only work in the summer in the resort, washing dishes or making beds, and make very, very little there. And so uh, that makes the problem escalate because of the need for money. Mm. You see, partners, the depravity here, the sheer desperation to how to feed their children and how to take care of their children leads them to even mm -hmm. sell their children. Mm -hmm. And the heartbreak that a mother must feel to have to give her child up just to meet their physical needs. I cannot even begin to imagine that and imagine the pain that, that festers um, in a home, in a heart, in the child, in the parent, in the family. It seems like everybody knows, but they have to look the other way. And we can make a difference here. Um, we're in um, Dobrich right now. You can see behind me, this is very normal. And in America, you know, this would be considered the lowest of economic um, conditions. And, and we see much, much, much worse and we're going into villages to pray um, in some other areas that we've not been in to do some prayer walks. But I want your attention to kind of turn from praying for boys, praying for Betty and I and Cindy, to praying for these children. We're praying for these parents and these adults that are in such desperate, desperate um, economic conditions. Um, you see, under communism, there was no God. And uh, when the communists pulled out, they took everything. So these people had nothing. They started with nothing. There are no jobs. So it is a desperate condition. Only God can come in and make a difference. And I know when you begin to pray for that child that is being put in the back of a taxi cab and taken to the hotel to service a tourist coming into town, and that child may be 8 years old, they may be 10, they may be 15, that's a small child. I know your heart will be broken because I know God will speak to you on how I can make a difference in that child's life, how I can pull that child out of that situation. I was sexually abused for 14 years, and it is my life's passion that no child, no child should have to be violated in that way. And in my feeble mind, I thought my country of the United States would be where I will make a difference in children's lives, but God had other plans. And he has shown me very clearly that where a door opens, no matter what part of the world, I will go, and I will do my very best, and I will spend the rest of my life fighting this, this battle and fighting for the safety of children. So please join the voice movement. Go to voicetoday.org right this minute and do what you can do to help us.